What's going on everybody? Come back and let's talk about these two products. What's happening everybody? This is Patrick Minton Outdoors. Trying to stay warm, got the heater cranked up and running it on toast right now. <laughs> so if you hear it running in the background, I'm sorry. A um, couple of things I got for Christmas this year. These um, were in my stocking from Santa Claus. And they were not in the tactical stocking. I did not use that this year. I used my other stocking this year. What was in it? It's two rolls of duct tape from, was it UST? UST, yeah. The Ultimate Survival Gear. Uh, blaze Orange, which I kind of like that idea of the Blaze Orange. Um, if you need it for signaling or anything like that, Blaze Orange is perfect. Uh, so I'm going to actually put one roll of that in my day pack that I use for hiking. And then these are pretty cool too. Uh, Gear Aid is where they come from. Uh, matter of fact, the website, I'll go ahead and put the website link down below for GearAid.com. But they're repair patches. It says better than duct tape. Now what they will patch, get a little closer so you can see it real quick. Technical fabrics, canvas, nylon, and mesh, rubber, vinyl, and plastic. So what you have in here is you have a clear, I think it's a clear patch type deal. And then you have a, another patch that's for the other fabrics and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pop it open. I'm going to try to pop it open. Strong staples. And um, let's take a look at this. Yeah, this is a fabric-like stuff, so that would be good for your tents, um, maybe uh, backpacks, that kind of stuff, so you could patch a hole in them. Especially if you're somewhere like on the AT or something. I'm sure those guys do some other things, but I mean, it you know, it would protect your gear. That's for sure. These are more of a clear patch. I think these would be good for probably like floats, um, stuff of that nature. You need to seal up if you're needing, you know, whether it be one of those uh, air up boats. Um, anything plastic, rubber, or vinyl. Um, air mattress. There you go. You get a little hole in your air mattress from a stick in the woods. There's your fix right there. Um, and it would last longer than a piece of duct tape. So anyway, I thought these were pretty cool ideas that she picked up and I will be implementing them into my system. So go check out these. I will leave links down below to their website. Get right there, www.gear-aid.com. And then the duct tape. I like the bright stuff, like I said, if you need to use it for marking tape or something, um, you know, that'd be pretty cool. So anyway, um, some neat stocking stuffers that I got this year. So I will be putting them in my system, all my systems, so we'll know, you know, I got the duct tape and I got these patches. Um, probably put these in my, like my camping gear. Um, deal for repairing stuff like that you know have it on me at all times when I'm camping and if we need to repair something we can repair it and keep going same goes with duct tape all right guys this is Patrick Minton Outdoors I got more stuff coming I'm fixing to get back outside um, and fixing to get to back to doing some other things like see the fish and stuff's coming this spring um, the way if it was to warm up majorly early, the way only way I would get out was to have to buy a one day or two day fishing license because the way our fishing um, licenses run here, they run from 1st of March to the end of February. So anyway, that's how that craziness works. And uh, we're going to get to 
sinking some worms this year. And uh, we're going to get back to camp. We're going to do some more camping. We're going to do some more hiking. And we're going to do some more traveling. And I bet we have more gear coming along the way. And you'll be seeing it. All right, guys. This is Patrick Mitten Outdoors. Be prepared.